All right, good morning, happy new year. So we're officially into 2024. Uh, as you can see right here, there's a little fire, but ah, fireworks, what are that? Tongue twisted everywhere, apologies. There's a fireworks box right here. <coughs> you just collect 20 guild points every day, upgrade runes for two levels, uh, take a hero from the mercenary hall, <coughs> purchase one item in the guild shop, something super easy, and then of course buy 500 gems. Um, we'll go do this in a second. We'll show you how all this works. Uh, the big thing is, I did my awakening dungeon already for one hero. I gotta go do the other one for Ninja Assassin. Uh, <clears throat> we did get. Ah, uh, sorry. We did finish. We were able to finish off Monster Hunter to get him his gold level two. Uh, even though it's level three, it's it's weird. The artifact skill is level two, but the actual artifact is level three. Uh, Anyways, we do have an exciting upgrade today. We're going to be able to get the wonderful, wonderful Ancient Lamp G2 level 5, which is going to be amazing. So we'll do this over here. <laughs> and any, uh... Sorry. Any other, uh... Advanced crystals that we get, we're going to be putting straight into Ancient Lamp Genie. Because we've been utilizing him on my Crusade team. We finished Crusade already. He has surprisingly a decent amount of health. Um, I wish he had a little bit more. I'm gonna train him a little bit more in the training field. <clears throat> and I did focus on him in the health too for the skin. So now quickly, right? Yeah. We're gonna have to go Magic Bow next though, so he can help out the team whenever he dies. But the. Uh, Crusade team I've been running that's been doing me wonders is the first team you see right here. It's Monster Hunter Emerald Mage, uh, Ancient Lamp Genie, and the wonderful Spell Swordsman. Uh, I haven't even, like, I'm running into some crazy teams that have, like, level 11 um, Queen of Sea Dragons with, like, level 70 artifacts. And there's some heroes that they have the like level 15, like a black tulip with a skin and artifact like 60 or something. And this team, if I time it all correctly, it's perfect because it it's weird how it works. Uh, so you turn invisible, you make the entire team invisible. Uh, Ancient Lamb Genie is amazing with that. He restores some energy and the HP a little bit, and with that energy restoration. We got Emerald Mage coming in, getting her um, ultimate popped, and then everyone goes towards that. And when they try going towards it, they're going to get pushed back by Emerald Mage. And they're going to get stunned by Chaplin by when she pops the ultimate, when they start taking a bit of damage. Ancient Lamp Genie usually gets enough HP back from Chaplin and takes enough damage so he can usually pop his ultimate again. And it just... It's a continuous cycle that's absolutely amazing for Crusade. Uh, this is my favorite Crusade team right here. I don't even have to use any of these other heroes that I have that I adore. But <laughs> it's kind of crazy to me. Uh, we also did get Ninja Assassin's uh, artifact to... The so, as I was trying to say, this video is cutting out like three times already, which is kind of aggravating. Um, <clears throat> Where is it? Ah, uh, yes. Ninja Assassin is going to be already level 3 artifact, uh, which is amazing. Let's give him this piece of gear. We're going to showcase uh, Angel Lamp Genie's team that I was talking about in a moment. But let's go to Guild. Uh, for the fireworks, it's mainly all around the guild, so let's grab our Guild Warship. go to the camp. I'm pretty sure some of my guild is utilizing my spell swordsman because sometimes he is a huge jump. So we'll put him back in. <coughs> uh, actually wait. Did not mean to click Zeus Temple. Uh, luckily didn't go over there. We need to do this. Let's go over to Ninja Assassin. Why not? Let's do agility. Ooh. 
two levels. Um, <clears throat> anyways, go to guild shop. We are gonna spend the 500 gems as well for the. Wait, we need to go to here as well. Collect this, and then it's 500 gems, I think. Like this, I'll show you what the rewards are for the fireworks because I didn't do this last year. <clears throat> A lot of ruins, which is nice. And now we're at 400, spent 500 gems. Luckily, I had the gems and 500 firework tokens. We get one star stone, five candy canes. I wish this was like five, uh, that would be a lot better. But this is definitely the greatest thing right here. Uh, three of <laughs> these for 500 gems is definitely worth it because you got to spend a thousand gems just to get one of these uh, normally. So getting three of them for that price is pretty good. Uh, candy canes you can't hurt to have candy canes. I wouldn't do this spend multiple gems every day. I just do it to 500. I get my gems back for the most part, as you can see. Beautiful fireworks everywhere on the screen. Uh, okay, let's go over to Dragon Cave. And the Eden Lies. See if we get a crazy good team. But against, uh, this is. Jesus Christ, 160 artifact. An artifact, um. Uh, I'm not a special swordsman in there. I'm not a special support. There he is. Well, I'm just a billionaire. I need to upgrade my mermaid totem more. I just hate how long it takes to grind through all those coins. I wish they improved the camp shop. I wish they improved the amounts you get of the totems and everything just so we can get it done faster. But, you know. Let's go over. Da, 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 da. So, as you can see right here. Yeah, my team is not taking much damage. And the wonderful thing is, Monster Hunter has a chance to make us immune to one type of damage. And we're physical, so that's really good. There we go. Yeah, this team pumps out some crazy damage. Monster Hunter can pump out damage. I wish I had his skin all the way. I will get it eventually. But Emerald Mage is the highest damage dealer of this team. Uh, potentially, if we kill all the magic weird uh, dealers. <clears throat> oh, this might be a tough team. Uh, Spell Swordsman could probably sweep. He does some pretty good damage. But yeah, this is the events. Nothing crazy. Small events, you know. Gotta watch the time above. Just to make sure it doesn't actually mess up again. Let's see if we can kill that. I mean, well, I see made pretty fast. Everyone made pop ultimate. I love that Emerald Mage does not have to have full energy to pop ultimate, which makes it so more, so good. And with magic, I mean, see how crazy this team is? Because we're all invisible now, and they're gonna go straight towards the uh, <coughs> Emerald Mage, the soldiers, or they're gonna go towards her uh, core, Emerald Core that she summons. And yeah, we just will shred through these things. This should be an interesting team. We're going to be definitely working up on uh, Ancient Lamp Genie. I apologize. I'm a little bit tired. And last night got a little too drunk. I haven't drank in a while, so it hit me a lot harder. Alright. Push that back. Ooh. Oh, we were able to charm Ninja Assassin, okay. I mean, to magic damage, but there's gonna be a physical thing coming in. Never mind, we're totally fine. Yeah, <clears throat> we won this. There's no way he can do enough damage to kill anyone here. Alright, so that's. that's I'm not sure if that pops up in the video or not, I would assume so. As you can see, this is a very toxic team. <laughs> this is actually definitely one of my favorite teams I've been using. As you can see, Emerald Mage pumped out the damage. Watson did a good chunk. 
Surprisingly, Chaplin does 